Hi again, this video is about Scribo Vision and how to deal with handwriting. Now handwriting is a very, uh, still a very viable modality that um, is alive and well in classrooms, you know, everywhere around the world. And if you get a lot of this, so, you know, paper, paper can be digitized very, very simply taking a picture, but what do you do with a picture when you're a teacher? So this is where um, Scribo Vision comes into play. And if you're in a class of of 30 students and you're getting 30 of these a couple of times a week and you're trying to improve the cadence or increase the cadence of writing in a handwriting sense it's a really difficult thing to do because it just means more work you got a lot of red penning to fix this uh, but maybe we can help you with scribo vision so let me show you how it works you basically set up your activity and i won't go back over how you do that but um, it's pretty simple you just don't change anything you set up your, your rubrics your mission your vision um, for what you want to ha happen, you want your topic, you want your scaffold, all of that is still alive and well. Uh, the thing that's different is that on your phone, now I'm going to create a miracle here and put my Apple phone on the screen. On your phone you can go to Vision. Now Vision is um, simply logging into literatu.com slash vision. Uh, you log in with your teacher credentials using Google or Microsoft or, or email and here's your, here's your uh, your payload. So in this class, we're talking about a, <clears throat> a rubbish essay. So we bring it up and here are my students, as you can see on the right side over here, these are the students and here they are here. Now let's say Julie, Julie turns up at your desk and says, I've got my essay done, Mr. Mark. So we'll upload. Now I'm going to take a picture of an essay. I'll take a photo. Now, you've got to try and take the best photo you can. You know, there's so many different bad photos I've taken in my lifetime. You've got to try and get the whole page on there and snap. We've got it. So, I'll use that photo and we'll upload it. So, again, I won't edit the video. I'll talk your way through it. So, we're, we're basically now um, converting this image into uh, a text, which I've done. And obviously, you don't have to wait around for it. We can go to the next student or collapse. Julie's now in our system uh, with feedback. So instantly, it has taken Julie's uh, handwriting. It's digitized it. It's kept the errors that she's made. Uh, we don't try, we really try not to change anything. Uh, it's scored it against the rubric. I think this is a, an IELTS rubric by the look of it. Um, and we've given some feedback at the bottom. So. This is available to teachers and students as well. Julie could use this app herself to take a picture of her work and get instant feedback at home. It doesn't have to be through the conduit of the teacher, okay? So what I've got here, as you can see, um, all the feedback, detail feedback is really cool because we take Julie through every sentence, correcting where she made a mistake and how we could help her fix it. So if you were to rewrite this, this is how you would use this feedback to rewrite and tidy up this so there's no real value in, unless you're practicing handwriting, there's no real value in you know, rewriting uh, to fix the, the errors. Because what, what we've now got over here in teacher mode is we've got Julie's work. So that image has come through for a teacher and for a student with the grading, with the word count. Um, and you can see the handwriting. So it's just finishing off its, its, uh, its feedback mechanism. And we're ready to go. So over here... I can see uh, the handwriting that I just took. That, that picture is now part of our, I guess our audit trail of what happened. Uh, but the best thing is that Julie can now log in as Julie and fix these errors. So we're not just sort of saying red, red penning and saying, oh, sorry, you know, it was a bad essay. You got two out of 10. We're saying, Julie, this is the beginning of you fixing this and moving forwards. So it's a continuation of, you know, a great modality, handwriting, into a digital medium where kids are a lot more comfortable and have a lot more flexibility to keep working on what they just did. That's something that you always lose with paper. The other thing you lose with paper is, of course, the uh, the bin shot and having it rolling around in a in a uh, landfill. So there's two choices: you can you can keep doing what you're doing, or we can help you with vision, and uh, it's that simple. You use it on your phone. You and that's teachers and students and it coordinates and brings together the effort that goes into every classroom every day. Thanks for your time. Talk soon.